Welcome back to Veertech Gaming. Now we got the command groups out of the way and how to create them, let's take a dive into how to add them to an automatic timer using Cron and Veertech Premium. In the last video, we covered how to create a command group, fill it with commands, edit the commands, and how to remove them. If you missed it, I'll leave a link in the description below. Remember, for the timed commands, you will need to be a premium Veertech subscriber. From the last video, I still have the command group in my Discord, which we made in the last episode. To do this, we can use the command slash cmd group dash list. This will show us our current command groups. As you can see here, my test commands is still here, and to check the commands in that group, we use the command slash cmd list. Select our command group, hit enter, and we will see all of the commands in that group. Now to the good part. Let's look into how we add that timer. Using the command slash tc add update, you can see that we have four options. Let's work through them. Game server. As always, we have to select which game server we want this to take effect on. If you want the same timed command on more than one game server, you'll need to add this separately. Nickname. This is asking you to provide a nickname for this timed command. Because ours is a launch site create event, I'm just going to call it launch event one. Command group. This is pretty self-explanatory, we just need to select which command group we're tying the timer to. For us, it's test. Cron. Now here's where it can get a little confusing and require some practice. When selecting Cron, you will see an autofill menu with suggested pre-registered Cron timers. Feel free to use these, but note, if you choose one of the time-related Crons, midnight, Friday at midnight, etc., it's recommended you also select the optional section named time zone to select your time zone. If, however, you want to create your own custom timer, then we need to utilize a cron tool online. I personally recommend Cronator. The web address is crontab.guru. There are plenty of other options out there, but for now, let's use Cronator. You'll see that you have five selections, minute, hour, day, monthly, month, and day, weekly. Below that, you will see the symbols you will need to use to create your expression timer. The more you play with it, you can see all the different possibilities and it also has this handy part which explains the expressions to you in real time. You can also use ChatGPT. This can also be a great tool for not only creating your timer, but it could also help explain them to you in a much more detailed manner than I can. Once you have created your expression, simply copy and paste it into the cron section of the command, and of course, you'll have to set it to your time zone. I'm not going to do this today. To keep things simple, I'm just going to use a preset. Every midnight will be good for us. Time zone. Now. Because we know Discord has a limitation on how many options can be ordered in a list, it is possible that you won't see your time zone here. Let's say we want it to be native to that of an Australian time zone. Simply begin to type your time zone, and if it's a valid option, the list will change to match your search. Simply select which zone you want, hit enter, and you will see that your timer has been added. You'll see this gives us a detailed overview of the timer you just created, showing the timer expression, the time zone you've tied it to, and so on. Now we have a timer created, let's look into how to edit it. Using the same command slash tc add update, again selecting our game server, we can now see the nickname section give us a pre-filled option of the timer we just created. Simply click on that, again selecting the command group and then updating our timer. It's worth noting that if you previously selected a time zone, you will need to select that again. Hit enter, and there's your update. Happy with your timer and you want to give it a test? We are now able to trigger the timer manually to check its effects using the command slash tc trigger, selecting our game server, and finally choosing from the list of timers we have here. Hit enter, and you'll see that the time command has been manually triggered. Want to take a look at the current state of all your timed commands? We can do this with the command slash tc list. Once you've hit enter, you'll see that we have all the information on our timed commands. If you have more than one, they will all show at the same time. If you have many more, then it is likely there will be multiple pages that you'll have to click through using the arrows you see under the response here. But as you can see, we have all the information we need, the expression, the time zone it's supplied to, the last time it was executed, the next time it will be executed, and its current status. If your command has never triggered before, it will show none here until its first execution. After that, you will see that it updates itself to succeeded. For the final part, let's look into deleting that timer. Using the command slash tc delete, we can remove the timer from the command group and stop it from auto triggering. Selecting the game server which we want to remove it from, and then the nickname that is set for that timer, hit enter, and you will see that the timer has been successfully deleted. 
Remember again, if we want to remove the timer from multiple game servers, we need to repeat this action for each game server. And there you have it. Now we know how to add a timer to those command groups, check the status of the timer, edit the timer, and finally how to remove the timer. As mentioned in the command groups video, this is a feature that is so versatile and customizable, and I hope you have some real fun with it. Remember, get to practicing with these cron expressions and use all the tools out there to help you learn it. That completely covers the command groups and timed command options. Let us know down in the comments what you want us to cover next. There's still so much to cover and learn with the Veertech RCE bot, and we want to help you all get the most out of it. Until then, happy grubbin'.